And of course, to make beer bread, you need beer. So, ah! our favorite beer for this, and uh, the Hardy does like it as well. National Heritage Day in South Africa is a public holiday where people across the country celebrate their heritage. Braing, shisanyama, commonly used words in South Africa for barbecuing. This is common across all cultures in South Africa. So what better way to celebrate National Heritage Day? We decided to do our favorite beer bread as part of our braai activities on National Heritage Day. A quick excursion to the local store and all your ingredients can be found quite easily. On one of our previous episodes at Shakanaka, we made some beer bread. This is the first time we did it and it turned out really fantastically. So, today we're going to do that again for National Braai Day. And hopefully you can get a few tips from this and you can have some lovely fresh beer bread with your braai. I'm going to start by making the fire. Anybody who lives in South Africa or Southern Africa knows how to make a braai. Braai is the Afrikaans word for barbecue and that is the common term that we use in this part of the world. A really great way to start your braai is by using one of these chimneys. This convectively heats the coals really quickly and you get some nice hot coals really quickly as opposed to just letting them sit on the braai and slowly smoke out. Um, that's not a bad way to do it, in fact that's the normal way to do it, but this is really quick so I suggest you get one of these, this can really change your life. Um, we have a Weber Bra and we use a Weber chimney as well. Weber is a really great brand and that's why we use it. It's really sturdy and hardy and I've had this bra for quite a significant amount of time. But there are many other great kettle bras out there as well. But using a kettle bra is ideal for this because you can close it and that gives an oven effect which is what you need to bake. And that's what we're going to do to bake our bread. Right, so charcoal inside the chimney and now we need some fire lighter. We've got some fire lighter and let's get our fire going. Our charcoals are in preparation in the background. Those should be nice and hot just now. And while that happens, we're going to put together the dough for our beer bread. So what do you need to make beer bread? First thing you need is some flour. Self-raising wheat flour. That works really well. Self-raising flour is just a lot easier than plain flour because you don't have to add baking powder and all the rest of it and yeast and knead it and all that sort of stuff. So this just makes your life really easy and it works really well. We are going to use brand rich self-raising wheat flour. The brand's great, gives it a lovely texture, nice color as well, and it just tastes really good. You need a little bit of salt as well. You need some oil for your pan so your bread doesn't stick to it. So you can use any kind of oil, it doesn't have to be olive oil or whatever the case is. You can use butter as well, as long as you get a nice non-stick surface. And of course, to make beer bread, you need beer. Our favorite beer for this is the Boston Black River Coffee Stout. It happens to also be my significant other's favorite stout. The stout is really great for beer bread. It gives a lovely color to the bread and also brings a wonderful rich flavor to it. So you can use any kind of beer that you prefer. You can use a lager, etc. But stouts work really well. And there we have it. Nice and simple, lovely dough, beautiful color from the start. All we've got to do now is oil the pan, put the dough in there and get it in the brine. So, oil the pan, give it a nice non-stick surface and then you can just pop the dough right in.
Great, no oiling. Simple. Grab the dough, put it into a reasonably similar shape to the pan that you're baking it in so that it expands into that shape easily and you don't get parts of the bread that are dense and parts that are parted a lot. And that is our bare bread dough in the pan, ready to go into the fry. Charcoals are done and it's time to get them into the fry stand so we get a nice knot. It's important to have your coals off to one side of the bright because you want an oven effect. So you don't want them directly below your baking pan. If you do that, you're going to burn the bottom of the bread. Now, we're going to close the kettle bright to get, like I say, an oven effect. We're not drying here where we've got the heat from below. We want the heat coming from all angles. We close the bright lid, then we get heat being reflected off the lid and we also get the convective effect. You've got to keep the holes a little bit open so you get some air going through to your coals so that you keep those nice and hot. Now, previously we've used our trusty little kettle bright to create the oven effect and that's what we did at Jakanaka. The reason we did that was because we didn't have a big bright that we could fit the whole baking tray into. In that case, we put this on top of a set of coals so that this was heated by the coals and then this became our oven. It takes approximately an hour for the bread to bake. Do not open the lid if you can help it because every time you open the lid you get fresh air in, the temperature changes, you put the lid back on and then it's got to restabilize and that can dry out your bread. So all we've got to do now is maybe have a sip of some beer and uh, let the Whipper Bride do its magic. Cheers! So, the moment of truth has arrived with our beer bread and let's see how it's come out. Well, looks very good so far. You can test the bread by using a skewer or a piece of stick to see if you have any dough in the center of the bread. When you poke it, all you've got to do is push that straight into the bread, pull it out and it comes out with a bit of dough stuck on it and the bread's not ready yet. Our bread looks pretty good though. And voila, some beautiful beer bread. Beautiful, warm, fresh beer bread. This is going to be fantastic. Perfect. And so, as the sun sets, we've got some beautiful, fresh beer bread straight off the bry. So, see instructions below if you want to make this yourself. You can also make it in your kitchen if you like, but off the bry, there's nothing more authentic than that. Enjoy, and remember, please subscribe. In a country with so much cultural diversity, there is much to celebrate on National Heritage Day. Thank you to sponsors Boston Breweries. Remember to drink responsibly, not for sale to persons under the age of 18.